Hey everyone, welcome to my library. My name is Melissa and today I have another book haul. <laughs> um, I know I just posted one maybe two or three weeks ago, but yes, I have collected more books. Um, these are actually mainly um, thrift books orders or online orders. Um, the book haul I did previously was mostly a big library book sale um, haul that I that I found all of these random romances for 12 bucks, but all of these were romances that I have been on the hunt for. Um, I also have some historical fiction in here as well. So um, I'm going to start with the historical fiction um, or more like historical based books and then I'll do like the st strictly romances. So let's do that first. First I have a very exciting gift I got from my lovely friend Tara over at Tara North. You guys need to check her channel out. She is amazing. She's also the host of the um, Read My Lips podcast that I was recently on. And so um, as a way to thank me for going on that, she bought me this book and I seriously, I was honored to be on it. So I really like didn't expect or, you know, want anything out of it, but she was just insistent. <laughs> um, so anyways, she ordered me this book that she is actually currently reading and um, she has been recommended to it for it. She has been recommended it by her mom um, and it's the Josephine B trilogy and it's by Sandra Gulland. And from what I know, so this is three books in one, this giant hunker of a book. Um, she found it on Amazon for me, um, used and decided to, to send it my way, which was so nice of her. I love used books. And so to have this huge historical fiction to dive in is awesome. But yeah, so it's three books. It's The Many Lives and Secret Sorrows of Josephine B, Tales and Passions, Tales of Woe, and then The Last Great Dance on Earth. Um, and this one says, Sandra Golan's ir irresistible epic draws the reader into the passionate relationship between Josephine and Napoleon Bonaparte. Comprising three acclaimed bestsellers, this omnibus edition traces Josephine's transformation from an impressionable young girl to the Empress of France and one of the most sophisticated, powerful women in history. That's awesome. Um, I know nothing about French history, if I'm being honest. So uh, I'm sure this will be a huge education for me. Tara said she's been really enjoying it. And there's like some sort of kind of like supernatural element to it, she said. Like there's some tarot card reading and stuff happening in it or something. Um, so yeah, if you're intrigued at all by that. So that this is the first book. Um, okay, the second book I recently featured in a vlog that I'm hoping to have up before this haul, and that is Finding Rebecca by Ewan Dempsey. Obviously got it from Goodwill. I still need to take the sticker off, but it's a pretty stubborn sticker, so I don't want to attempt it yet. Um, but this is a very, very intense um, premise from what I understand. So it's basically, uh, it says, nothing could keep Christopher and Re Rebecca apart not her abusive parents or even the fiance she brought home after running away to England. But when World War II finally strikes the island of Jersey, the Nazi invaders ship Rebecca to Europe as part of Hitler's final solution against the Jewish population. And then he's deported back to Germany and is forced to be in the German army. So this is a huge star-crossed lovers situation happening with this book. Um, it sounds really dark, so uh, definitely tread lightly with this one if you're interested in it. But um, but yeah, it sounds right up my alley, so I'm excited about it. And I actually could not believe I found this at Goodwill. Um, I was shocked when I saw it there because it's been on my TBR ever since one of my subscribers mentioned it, saying that they think I would really like it. And I've been on the hunt. Uh, it's, it's a pretty hard to find novel, to be honest. So I was just shocked that they had it. But yeah, that's why I picked it up. <laughs> Okay, so then um, I've got three historical romance slash fiction kind of books to show you guys, and then I'll get into the actual kind of like real historicals. <laughs> um, so the first one, I was looking up on Goodreads um, any books that were like 
family sagas or really good like epic historicals. And so this one was recommended. It's called Dawn's Early Light by Ellsworth Thane. I love this cover. I got this off of Thrift Books. I had no idea what the cover was going to look like. I bought it blind <laughs> um, and I'm so happy with it. Uh, but anyways, so this is the first book in a series, the Women of Williamsburg series. And it says, a tumultuous saga of colonial America and the men and women who lit the torches of freedom. So yeah, so it's a uh, American Revolutionary War set uh, book. And it is all about this woman whose name is, let's see. This book is all about Tibby Maws, brilliant and irresistible, newly risen from the servant class, vows to seek her education as an equal among men. She captivates her schoolmaster, Julian Day, a proud Tory shocked by the seditious talk around him, struggling to understand his own loyalties and his feelings for the entrancing Tibby. Sounds so good. A schoolmaster and like um, servant romance situation. I think it sounds awesome. Uh, and it's very highly rated and very um, highly recommended. So yeah, I picked this up. I, I just had to. I think it sounds so, so good. So yeah, here's the first book um, of this, this like thrift books haul. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next one... I think I also showed in that vlog and I just love this cover so much. It's called Outback by Erin Fletcher and it is uh, a novel as great hearted as, as Australia itself. In the best selling tradition of the Thornbirds, sold <laughs> already. I love that book so much and I'm always looking for um, good Australian books. And this is a start of a family, not family saga, but um, yeah, a family saga is what I would call this. Um, so it says the towering saga of the Garrity family, whose founding father was the illegitimate son of a female convict. Brought up in a Sydney orphanage, Patrick Garrity left the brawling city to make a life for himself in the vast back country of New South Wales. And then he meets this woman who's a native there and um they start a family and it just goes from there i guess so yeah i think this cover is so pretty and i am very excited about this one i've seen the second and third one at one of my favorite bookstores that i just found recently so if i love this i know i can probably find those there unless they get bought but we'll see <laughs> so yeah here's the the next book okay so then this is a book I am so excited about. You guys are going to hear more about it because I'm featuring it in another video I plan to film today as well. Um, and it's books I want to read this summer. <laughs> um, but this is Paint the Wind by Kathy Cash Spellman. Um, she is a author I already own. I own, um, what is that book called? Oh yeah, An Excess of Love. I own that book. Uh, it's about like an Irish family, but this book, it has a step back, which I think is amazing. Like, yes, <laughs> so unique and so awesome. Um, but yeah, this says a uh, uh, splendid sweeping saga, the gone with the wind of the West. That's what sold me on buying this book and how big it was. I was sold on that too. Um, but basically, it's about this girl named Francie Deverell, who um, it says, too beautiful to be innocent, she will be swept into the relentless rhythms of a nation hungry for adventure. Her fortune is bound to the West, untamed, dangerous, and golden with promise. A woman able to steal away a man's breath and his reason, she wants more than love. She wants passion, power, and all the wealth of her dreams. And so I guess she falls in love with maybe multiple men that kind of situation like a really like um main character heroine situation um so i am so down and it sounds really good and it's gonna be it definitely is gonna be like a sweeping saga like like it is really long and um yeah i'm just i'm just stoked about this story this is exactly the type of book i want to read in the summer so so yeah, I picked this up and it's very highly rated as well. I, I think it was like 4.3 or something crazy like that on Goodreads. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, so now I'm getting into my uh, historical romances I found at this um, bookstore that I went to. 
it was insane the selection they had i was just in heaven i featured it on instagram showing showing everyone this huge selection of historicals they had um or just romances in general that they had and it was amazing and to have this i'm gonna show this book off and you guys will understand what i'm talking about this is a book i know that is highly coveted a huge unicorn find for most people and i'm excited about it um and that is indigo by beverly jenkins the like old cover i know they have a newer cover that most people own but um i think this cover is pretty hard to find from what i understand and it's going for like hundreds of dollars on ebay i don't understand <laughs> why but like it's a mass market paperback um anyways i'm gonna keep it <laughs> don't worry but but yeah, so there's this one and I just love this cover. I've never read Beverly Jenkins. I know she's a highly loved and um, booktube darling type of author. Um, and I know that this is Civil War as well. So there's a lot of things going for this one. Um, let me know if you've read it and if you recommend. But yeah, can you believe I found this? This was three bucks. So crazy good find. Um, yeah, probably the piece de resistance of this haul. So there's that one. Okay, so the next one is uh, highly influenced by Serafina on Instagram. She was talking about Lisa, Gre Lisa Gregory and how she's a really good author and how this series is really good. So I got the first one. It's called The Rainbow Season by Lisa Gregory. And um, it's actually a contemporary, even though it doesn't really look it, but I love this cover so much. I think it's so cute. It's got the yellow sprayed edges. It's pretty thin, so that's good. But um, yeah, it says, Luke Turner, lean, tanned, and wild. They called him bad blood from his boyhood days in a tar, tar paper shack to his nights in an outlaw cell. Sarah McGowan, beautiful and bold, her roots were deep in the soil, but to Sarah, the glories of romance were as distant as a dream. Stubborn pride and the Texas land thrust them together in marriage, but would the springtide of passion sweep them on to love? So it sounds like a forced marriage situation and also like, um, uh, like maybe different classes or something. I'm not really sure. But, but yeah, so I picked this up and I'm sure I'll read it soon. I, I think it sounds really good. So, and Texas, Texas. <laughs> okay. So the next book has been one that has been recommended to me a lot because I've been on the hunt for, oh, Butter just woke up from her nap. <laughs> um, so I've been on the hunt for um, clergy or priest historical romances and everyone has been recommending this book specifically it's called to love and to cherish by patricia gaffney and this has an amazing step back i was so excited about it when i saw it had one yes oh my gosh this is probably my favorite step back of the whole haul i don't know why i just think it's beautiful um but yeah so this is the story of this man this woman named anne who um, she has this marriage to this guy and it was a living hell. And then he dies and her only comfort is the, um, the vicar of All Saints Church, Christian Morrill or Morell. And um, anyways, it says, he looked, like an archangel. he looked like an archangel, his strength something palpable, his golden haired handsomeness, a source of light in her dark life. Anne had no right to want Christy to love her and no choice but to need him, even though she risked his ruin and her own. But he was everything to her. She would defy this world for him and the next. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a vicar romance, and I'm here for it. I am so excited that I own this now. Um I really think I should do some sort of like reading my priest historical romances vlog if I can. Um, I don't really do themed reading vlogs, but I feel like I could make an exception for that and just try all these ones that I'm getting out and, and see how it goes. <laughs> um, but I do have high hopes for this one. So there's this one. Okay, so I'm in a major Western mood right now. And so I've been trying to find all the Westerns or like frontier based books I can find. 
And so the next book is a book um, from an author that I'm highly anticipating, Katherine Anderson. I featured her um, in a recent, the, my most recent haul as well. Um, but anyways, this is one of her historical romances. And the Step Back I've seen recently on Step Back Saturday as well. And I just love it. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I was initially attracted to that. And then um, from the back of the book, it's about this man whose name is Heath Masters. He's a local sheriff and um, he lays eyes on Meredith Kenyon, who is a woman on the run. And um, she has a child and he takes her in, I guess. Um, and it says, but though his romantic gestures are met with suspicion, Heath can't help but be drawn to his vulnerable new neighbor. He doesn't entirely trust her, but he sure does want to kiss her. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. Um, I actually, maybe this isn't historical. It, I thought it was, but now I feel like maybe it's just contemporary. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not. So if you've read this, let me know if it's historical or contemporary. I mean, I guess from this log cabin, maybe it is historical. Um, you also can't really tell from the cover because jeans can be deceiving. <laughs> I have learned that. Um, if you think it's contemporary because he's wearing jeans, you might be wrong and it's actually historical and the model is just wearing jeans. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me, but it's okay. So yeah, so let me know if you guys have read this and if you liked it. It sounds really good and I'm really attracted to like sheriff heroes too or doctor heroes. So yeah, had to buy this one. Sorry if the angle changed. My work called me, so I had to pick up. Anyways, um, I have two more books to show you guys. Oh, no, I have three more books to show you guys. So the next book is The Texan's Touch by Jodi Thomas. So I have Jodi Thomas on my shelves. I haven't read her yet, but I have her, um, her Texan's Wager series. I know it starts with The Texan's Wager. Um, but anyways, I also picked up this. This is another first book in a series by her. It's called The Texan's Touch. And this is really hard to find. I haven't found it anywhere physically. And then online, it's also pretty difficult. Um, I ended up buying this on thrift books for like 15 bucks. But anyways, um, this is the story. The reason I really wanted to get into it was this is the story of a Yankee doctor named Adam McLean. So it's set in the Civil War. And he's captured by Confederates to um, help administer to one of their comrades. And then when he goes to help the comrade, he realizes it's a woman. And then um, anyways, he helps heal her. And then uh, years later, I guess in Texas, or months later in Texas, they reunite and um, she needs his help again. So yeah, it sounds really, really good. So up my alley for so many reasons. And then I know the third book in this series is also a um, like priest historical situation. Like I know it's like a Texan vicar or something like that. Not a vicar. What do you call it? A parishioner? I don't know what you call it. But anyways, so yeah, I want to get into this series and this sounds like a perfect start to it. So I picked this up. No step back on this one, unfortunately. The next book I picked up was the uh, was mainly because I love this author so much, and that is Lorraine Heath. And this is um, her Texas series. It's the first book in her Texas Cowboy series, I think is what it's called. And this step back is so pretty. I've also seen this on Step Back Saturday and just love it so much. Um, so I have no idea what it's about. Um, let's see. A Duke's son, Grayson Rhodes, was a maverick who had left London suffocating upper class worlds to earn his own fortune. So he seized the chance to work Abby Westland's land. And from the moment he first saw Abby, he was determined to use his arms to work the farm by day and to soothe her through the nights in his strong embrace. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, sounds like a Duke that changes into some sort of rancher. <laughs> I am so down. Um, so yeah, so there's this book. I can't wait to read another Lorraine Heath. I really, really enjoy her writing. Um, another Texas book. 
Okay, the last book is another very yeehaw book. Um, that is the This Fever in My Blood by Mary Louise Manning. And it said, it says, their passion was stronger than a nation's rage for gold. Their love blazed against the vast landscape of the turbulent West. <laughs> yes. So um, this is a book about a woman who um, she's actually raised uh as an as a native american part of the native american tribe and then um she is left desolate in the desert when nevada jones found finds her he is a rough cowhand an outlaw headed west to make his fortune and he ends up teaching her taming her and protecting her um and they end up going to california and it's their journey and their romance um it looks really good we got a mustache hero going on with this one and it looks like it's going to be really epic too. Um, this is very not well known on Goodreads. I think this has like eight ratings. But I read the back and just really thought it sounded super interesting. So um, I picked it up. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's definitely that vibe that I'm going for this summer. So, so yeah, this was the last book in this haul. So yeah, guys, that's my um, huge book haul. Again, I can't believe I'm already filming another one. I really need to calm down. Um, I'm hoping to. Like, I'm not, I don't have any orders or anything now. So this is kind of it. <laughs> but yeah, here's my cute Western, mostly themed book haul. Um, getting ready for the summer and all of my summer reading and it being really chill at work. It's going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you would like, please like and comment. I reply to every single comment. And please subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye! <laughs>